Welcome to a new uh, SaferJS podcast and I want to show you how you can improve your sound quality especially for high bit rate and high sampling frequency sounds just like flag files for example or other uh, very high quality files. So first of all the speaker quality can be improved with this hack a little bit at least uh, if you have like weak speakers like the one weak speaker on the Xperia 10 plus device here or the Xperia 10 devices then you will not probably will not hear so much of a difference sometimes you will get a little bit less crackling noises but I think the main purpose of this little hack which I thankfully got uh, as recommendation from Mr. Magister um, known in the Savage community as uh, this nickname who um, told me about this it allows you f uh, to set a different sampling frequency for pulse audio and this will improve sound quality especially for the higher bitrate sounds and you will not notice it so much on the speaker but you will notice it definitely on your headphone jack so good thing is like the Xperia 10 plus device has a headphone jack the uh, Sony Xperia uh, XA2 device has a headphone jack and all the XA2 device families has a headphone jack you will notice it definitely on those headphone jacks you have less kind of a background noise and hiss that you will hear but also the quality if you have high quality earphones uh, just like my super high quality uh, Sony Xperia MH1 which I can recommend definitely the, uh, those are one of the best sounding uh, 10 euro investigation <laughs> invest uh, in investment that you can do and uh, yeah uh, but be sure to get the one with a TRS plug and not the what was the other one CT, CPR, CTR and other plugs uh, get the newer one the, the plus model anyway MH1 uh, or real over-the-ear headphones you will definitely hear a sound improvement so to do this we have to hack a little bit around so we have to set a configuration file for Pulse Audio so you need to have uh, the terminal activated and I will show you this right now on my uh, tablet where I have uh, things running and where I have the possibility to just simply go in and start a screen recording um, and, and now the screen recording is running so this is a terminal first of all I will connect to my Xperia 10 plus device so let me SSH and there we have the SSH the IP in this case and my super secret password here and I have to turn on the device otherwise it will take for hours uh, so what we have to do is edit a file and the file here you can see the file name uh, so the pulse daemon conf savages has its own configuration file already uh, set up for this where they basically turn the sampling frequency method down let me show you this let me just open up this file and we go down you can see the resample method resampling is basically if you have a higher sound quality it has to resample down uh, to the one that uh, the device supports and in this case they have set it by default to speaks fixed 2 which is a very low CPU consumption uh, one you can see also here the various different uh, uh, comments in here that state what's going on so basically Yola's goal with setting this up here is to have like an universal standard especially for the YOLA 1 and YOLA C uh, to have like as low as CPU usage as possible but still have relatively good audio quality but what we want to achieve now is best audio quality with a little bit more CPU usage but still especially for the Xperia devices they don't have uh, such problems with like uh, too much CPU us usage if you change it to a uh, higher quality one uh, just like for example I have it here you can see I commented out you see this is the comment symbol here and uh, everything else is a comment but this I commented out and put in here resample method I changed uh, this to Soxer uh, very high quality VHQ here and the default sampling rate I changed to 48 kilohertz so if you have like um, a very high quality flag file 
48 kilohertz uh, is even better than CD quality and uh, if you have 96 kilohertz or something like this it will downsample to 48 kilohertz as the default one and an alternative sample radius is 44100 so 44.1 kilohertz which is like the normal CD quality like uh, which is uh, as an alternative rate here so if it doesn't work for this it will go for this one and yeah this is the important part here when it comes to the uh, sound quality and yeah you can try it out on your Xperia devices I cannot sadly show or demonstrate you uh, how this will work out but I can definitely say to you uh, on the Xperia 10 Plus device for for the uh, speaker there's a little bit less noise a little bit less crackling sound on higher volumes I think but it might be placebo but definitely what will work out is if I plug in my Sony MH1 here and then just listen to some music it will definitely sound way better than before so this little hack here mm, not hack it's actually a configuration uh, is pretty good when it comes to people who want to listen to high quality audio files if you just listen to a podcast or something over the crappy speaker you probably won't hear the difference but if you have high quality audio file uh, files you will definitely uh, hear this uh, and yeah I can recommend you to do this change try it out see how CPU usage is I can imagine Yola 1 and Yola C would have probably a bit of trouble keeping up eventually with higher quality music files but uh, the Xperia devices don't have this problem because they're powerful enough for this sampling uh, frequency change and yeah that's basically everything for this uh, little safe address podcast hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching uh, keep comments in the comment section if you have some other uh, tweaks uh, to improve sound quality for example or other uh, things on selfish s and uh, like subscribe and until the next time bye